Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first post-COVID video. All I'm gonna say about that is, I don't really wanna go through that again. That wasn't the greatest. But anyway, I'm, I'm on the mend, I'm doing a lot better. And whilst I was sick, a box showed up, which I've been dying to open. So I'm gonna do that today. So this here comes to me all the way from India. And inside of this box is a box tampura. So um, I'm gonna get out my knife here and start opening and tell a little bit more details there as I'm opening it. But uh, if you don't know what a tampura is, it's, a, it's an Indian drone instrument. It would be used in a similar way to the Shruti box that I have, which is right over here. Um, but it basically produces a drone tone for people to sing or play other instruments on top of. And it's a string instrument. And I you know, first saw a tampura years ago and I really liked them. And um, started to learn a little bit about them. And they're typically shaped kind of like an upside down lollipop, I guess, to, for lack of a better term. And um, some of them have four strings, some of them have five. But in any case, um, you know, I looked into to purchasing one and, and they're not super cheap because they tend to be fairly ornate and, um, you know, have a lot of fancy finishing and stuff. And so then more recently I discovered there's another type of tempura called a box tempura. And that's because as you're gonna see as soon as I get this open, it looks like a box. But what really intrigued me about this particular tempura is when I looked at it, it looked more like something I would build in the garage, like a cigar box guitar or something like that. Let's go ahead and get the uh, bubble wrap off here. It's very well packed, by the way. Okay, we got it. Now, let's pull this out and you can see it's in a case. This is kind of nice. It comes in this little gig bag sort of a case. It's got a little accessory pocket here on the front. And let's go ahead and get it open. And of course, we have more packing material. Oh boy, they're <laughs> really trying me today on all this. Let's get this open. Okay, so I just wanted to add here, this was extremely well packed. One of the better packed instruments I've received. This thing is very well padded. I'm almost out of here. Whew, okay. Almost there. We've got it out of the main part of the packing here. All right. So there is our box tempura. But here is what makes the tempura um, unique is if you look at this bridge here, these bridges are supposedly made of camel bone. And um, you can see there's a notch where the strings go through and then there's this long flat part. And what happens is when you pluck the string, it actually buzzes against that piece of bone. And that's what gives it its unique sound. If you also look up here, we've got a little like uh, kind of zero fret kind of an arrangement and then a string guide here. Um, we've got just four basic guitar tuners here on the headstock. Right? And then down here, we just have a, a through bridge like that. Um, so very, very simple concept for an instrument. It's like we've got one sound hole and that's it. So the next thing to do is I've got to get this baby tuned up. Now, um, I've done some reading on this. I'm not the expert on tanporas uh, at all. So, um, but from what I read, the most common tuning for these on a four string is you go root note here, fifth here, and then these two tune to the octave. So essentially you've got a fifth on the top and bottom, and then you've got octave strings in the middle. And then you just pluck whichever note you want for that particular drone. Um, there are other variations and there are five string tamporas and, and whatnot, but uh, let's get this baby tuned up and see if I can get a sound out of her. Just sounds kind of magical, doesn't it? It's just really got that Eastern feel to it, especially that. And that buzz is coming from, as I said before, this camel bone bridge. And um, there, are, again, I am no expert at the, the tempura, so please don't take <clears throat> anything that I say today to be like, you know, like as if I'm experienced. This is the first one I've ever held. But um, as I understand it, you typically play them kind of in the top third of the string and so you either hold it upright like this and pluck it here or some people set it down across their lap and pluck it in that area but you know compared to like a guitar or something like that you would typically think of strumming it down here by the sound hole now you can probably experiment with that 
versus you definitely get more buzzing down there or in the middle. And I suppose there's no right or wrong way to play it, it's just the way that you like, but... So if you were playing this in like a band situation, you wouldn't be playing a melody or something like that on here. You would be playing uh, just like a drone underneath and for all the other instruments to sit on top of. So by the way, I'm not sure if there's a traditional key that they're supposed to be tuned in. I suppose you probably change it based on the song, but I've currently got it tuned to F. So we have F, 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 C is how this one is currently tuned. And so for instance, if there was some, you know, some other instrumentation and vocals going on, you might play something like this. Uh, I will definitely try to use this in some future videos and try to use it as a drone instrument and put some cool tones underneath something else, maybe play guitar on top of it or, or some other instrument, keyboard, who knows. This particular one, I got this off of eBay and there's no um, manufacturer name anywhere on this, but I got this one off of eBay and it was like between $100 and $110. And there's several different manufacturers out there that sell these same ones. So very inexpensive. And again, I could probably build one of these myself now that I've seen how it all goes together, but I wanted to get something solid to start with. Um, that said, if you're looking for a high quality instrument, this is definitely not it. I can see a lot of flaws with this. There's a few finish flaws and whatnot. I'm not sure if these will show up, but you can see there's some dings and some finish flaws all along here. But when we come up to the, the um, tuners here, let me see if you can see this one is bent. Um, and by that, I mean, it's not mounted well. I think either that or this post is, is bent one of the two, but it's not sitting flat. So that tuner is gonna to need to be, you know, replaced. When I was tuning it up, that string was giving me a little bit of trouble. So that tuner is definitely gonna to need to be replaced. But that said, they appear to be just standard guitar tuners. So I should be able to replace those pretty easily. Also, you can kind of notice there's like some sanding marks and stuff in here that didn't get, you know, really filled in or buffed out. And um, it's, you know, it's not the greatest finish. There's like, this is not a high quality instrument by any, oh, there's a chip, there's a chunk of the wood missing right there. I don't know if you can see that. But um, this is definitely not a high quality instrument. If you wanted something that's more of a showpiece, you'd spend a little more than this. So again, God, that's so cool, it sounds so great. Uh, so there you go. That was my um, unboxing of this uh, Tampora. Um, if you're interested, you know, this is a great way to get into something like this without spending a lot of money. And if, you know, you really like it and you show a knack for it, then, you know, it might not be a big deal to spend three to 500 for something that's a little dressier. A lot of the Tamporas do have some really ornate engraving and inlay and stuff. So some of them can get kind of pricey if you get, you know, up in that range. So anyway, I intend to use this in some future videos. So keep your eyes open for that. But that's going to wrap up the unboxing for today. You know, if you like what I do on this channel, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button over there for me. And if you like this video, just go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. I'll be back with another one soon.